Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the King of Glory. The hour has come. We ask that you come down and have your way tonight. Holy Father, we recognize our worthiness, our sins, and we ask for mercy tonight. We ask that you wash us clean with your most precious blood such that we shall be filled with your presence tonight. Father, have your way tonight. Sanctify the atmosphere with your blood in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, since that pleases you to come, may, you also, may it also please you to be on the throne and the not only on the pulpit, but even in the hearts of your children, may you be there, Lord. Inhabit the hearts of your children so that the word we shall hear will also refine our hearts so that at the end we shall act and behave like you, Lord. And so, Father, we hand over the prayer meeting to you and we ask you, Lord, to wash us clean with your most precious blood, such that we shall be whiter than snow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We we'll cover the prayer meeting tonight with the most precious blood of Jesus. The instruments that heaven is going to use tonight, we cover with the most precious blood of Jesus. Any power that has been set up in the spiritual realm to interfere, or to interrupt the plan of God for his people tonight, we cancel in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ancient of Days. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. We cover our brother with the blood of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit descend on him and use him to minister tonight in an extraordinary way in the name of Jesus. And we call on our blessed mother, ever virgin, to intercede for us this night, so that in the course of this prayer, we pray with her, and by virtue of that prayer of fellowship with our Blessed Mother tonight, so shall it be that ways shall be opened for God's children in the name of Jesus. Amen, Mother, amen. Friends in Christ, it is my pleasure tonight to invite us to Numbers chapter 22, verse 5 to 6. Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter number 22, verse 5 to 6. And uh, we shall be reading from the New Revised, the Standard Version, Catholic Edition. He sent messengers to Balaam, son of Boa, at Betor, which is on the Euphrates in the land of Amor, to summon him, saying, A people has come out of Egypt. They have spread out the face, spread over the face of the earth, and they have settled next to me. Come now, cause these people for me, since they are stronger than I. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land. For I know that whomever you bless is blessed. And whomever you curse is cursed. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus. My friends, I have come to share a message titled, Revoking Every evil decree. Revoking every evil decree. Now, from the reading we have just had from Numbers chapter 22, verse 5 to 6, we see a story, a very interesting story. In fact, a long story that actually covered the whole of chapter 22 and the chapter 23 of the book of Numbers. We just selected a portion for the message of this night. In this story, there was a man, a king, the king of the Amorites, called Balak. Balak 
saw the people of Israel. Now, if you remember, the people of Israel have been in Egypt for 430 years. And uh, now the Lord had delivered them from the land of slavery. And they were now on their way to the promised land. So you see a whole nation sojourning in the desert. And the Lord was fighting their battles, conquering nations for them. So the news of the exploits of the Israelites had come to the hearing of the king Balak. And Balak was concerned that if these people come to my land, if they cross my land, you know, like a caravan, a people sojourning, if they will pass my land, if this caravan passes my land, uh, they, they can overtake me. They can, they can fight me. I have heard that these people have a track record of defeating nations that come to fight them. Anytime they are passing through a, a nation, a people, and those people rise against them, there is a track record that, that these people, these Israel, Israelites, will overcome and conquer those nations. So because of fear, of being defeated by the Israelites, Palak began to make a plan on how to fight the people of Israel. And meanwhile, the people of Israel did not even know a man called Balak because they hadn't come to his territory. They hadn't even encountered him. And uh, unknown to them, that is unknown to the people of God, the Israelites, Balak was already setting up a plan on how to attack the people of Israel. Now, Balak was fully aware that these people, these people are special people. Okay? That they are people that, that God fights for them. So what Balak did was to send for a man called Balaam. Now, Balaam happened to be a man gifted in prophecy. And the Balaam now decided that the best thing to do was to pay Balaam, that is, Balak wanted to pay Balaam in, in order to convince him, to make him to curse the people of Israel. Now, why would he do so? It is because Balaam himself had a a, a track record too. A track record that whenever or whomever he blesses, we bless. And whomever he curses, we be cursed. Now, if somebody would bless somebody and the blessing will follow the person and curse somebody and curse follow the person, that tells you that there's a gift of God upon the life of such a person. But that's not where we're focusing this message. So what Balak was trying to do was to hire Balaam to be able to curse the people of God. Because he was afraid of the people of God. And going to Numbers chapter 20, verse 6, we see that Balak was not telling Balaam, Come now, come, help, make a help, come, curse these people for me. Since they are stronger than I, perhaps. I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land. So, if you read, you know, the whole of chapter 22 and chapter 23, you see a very interesting story. I would not have time to go through all that, but I engage you, you know, to try to uh, read it on your own. But in this story, we see that Balak was hiring someone to curse God's people that are coming to settle next to him. Of course, we begin to read down the chapter 22. You see that when, when Balaam was bought over and he came to curse the people of God, when he looked at the people of God, he saw the glory of God. And so instead of cursing them, he began to bless them. 
Very interesting. Now, but you ask yourself, how come Balak hired Balaam? Where did he get that idea from? That it is possible to hire somebody, to curse somebody. It was a culture he learned. It was the practice of the time. He wasn't the first to practice this. He knew that it is possible to hire someone to curse someone. Unfortunately, he went to a man of God. He went to somebody who allowed himself to an extent to be used by God. Granted that Balaam made some... God did not support him in, in, in that journey and all that. But at least he listened to God. And we see that if it is possible for Balaam to be higher, then it is also possible for an enemy to hire a stronger force to curse the people of God. Now this is a practice in the kingdom of darkness. Cursing the people of God. Hearing the people of God are about to gather and they begin to curse. There was this story that was told, I think it was a priest that told me that story. And I believe I've shared this story some time ago in this ministry. And this, this happened in, in, in the United States. And the, uh, the, 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 the priest was telling me uh, either himself or somebody he is somebody he knows that was telling this story, but whatever is the case, somebody was in the airplane. The plane was cruising in the air. Now, the person sitting beside him was praying, and uh, uh, he believed or he thought it was speaking in tongues. So he was excited that, oh, this this person must be a, a, a prayer warrior, must be a, a, a pastor or a minister of God. So he, he, he allowed him to finish making the prayer. And then when, uh, he, when he finished, he said, oh, I, 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 are you a pastor? He said, no, I'm not a pastor. He said, okay. oh, sorry, I, I think I, saw, I heard you he praying. I said, yeah, yeah, I was... I was cursing the people who are gathering for a, a, a program, a convention. There was, a, there was a, a, a big program that was planned. And the ministers of God will come to that city and they will pray and fast and shake the land with prayer. And so he said, I am, we, I am on a mission. We are going to. We have another. We have a program to gather. Uh, that witches are coming. We are coming to gather and curse that program. We are going to curse the the people that will gather. We we'll curse. We we'll curse them so that they be confused when they gather. We we'll curse them that so that. They, when they gather, when they go home, they will have problems with their, with their, with their children, or their business will have problems. Uh, they have problems with their, um, those who are married, who have problems with their spouses. Uh, that's what we are going there to do, to cause them problems. Uh, and look, I was, I was like, what? And the person I was talking to was going to that program. You see that? This is what we are talking about tonight. Balaam hired, sorry, Balak hired Balaam to curse the people of God. He was hired to curse the people of God. You may think that this was something that had, uh, a practice that had expired. No, it is still being practiced to today. It is still being practiced to today. When the kingdom of darkness cannot attack you directly, they try to use every means to attack the people of God. Of course, in the spiritual realm, there are hierarchies. 
whether in the kingdom of God, hierarchy of the kingdom of light, or in the hierarchy of the kingdom of darkness, there are hierarchies, levels. A, an agent of darkness can hire a higher ranking agent to carry out a mission. In the case of Balaam and Balak story, Balaam could not curse the people of God. He rather blessed them. Is there a possibility that in this program we are gathering at Dallas, that the enemies are also gathering? For sure, they are already gathering. And that's why we are being on this prayer march for 21 days to weaken their territory, interrupt their plans, cripple their, their activities, mess them up, set on fire their altars, and they pull down, demolish all their structures. And we praise God that God has been answering our prayers. And so, my dear people of God, let the lesson from Numbers 22, verse 5 to 6, pass a strong message to us tonight. That the people of God, the Israelites have come out of Egypt, and they were now going to, moving to the promised land. And just as they were far away from the territory, of Balak. Balak saw them coming and began to make a plan on how to curse them. Look at what Balak said. Curse these people for me. Since they are stronger than I. Do you know that we are stronger than the kingdom of darkness? Of course we are. But not by our own power, but by the power of Jesus who is in us. You see that? But when the God's people who are strong do not anchor on God fully, the enemy can take over and mess them up. My dear people of God, Balaam wanted God's people to be cursed, to weaken them with the curse. There are programs that people go, they come back confused. They come back with problems here and there, with accidents here and there. And you begin to wonder what's going on. You don't know that the enemy you have prevented from coming to the program with your prayer, that even from where they are operating, where they are far away, you have cast them out, they are far away. But from there, they are setting a curse. A curse is like a spiritual wire that sends, it's like a wave. It's like a wave. You, you send the signal. And it, it goes out. You are hearing me now. So hundreds of miles away from you. There are thousands of miles away from you. Because every word I'm speaking is now carried through waves to you. This is science. But in the spiritual domain, causes could also travel through spiritual waves. Blessings could also travel through spiritual waves. For example, we pray in this ministry, and no matter where we are, we get blessed. But this nice prayer is a prayer to deal with powers that want to cause our gathering. You see, the people of Israel don't know somebody was planning to cause them. And the reason was because Balak was afraid that these people are stronger than I. They will come and finish me. So the kingdom of darkness, they know we are stronger than them. So if they, if they cannot come inside the program and they mess up things because we have prayed against that, we have secured the property with blood line, with the blood of Jesus, we have sanctified the environment, we have covered the whole place with the blood of Jesus, we have invited the angels of God to take over the arena, we have prayed over the people coming, over the ministers, over the intercessors. We have prayed that everyone coming to this program shall carry high density file of God. We have prayed that the angels of God will, will follow each and every person coming to the program. We have prayed that the fire in the, in the environment will be too hot, that nothing demonic shall operate. Okay, in other words, we have secured that environment completely. But don't forget that the enemy has a territory. And they have right to operate in that territory. 
<laughs> okay? They have they have temples, they have you know rivers to, to live. They have they have strongholds, they have covens. That is their domain. It is their territory. Okay? And they can stay there and they launch classes, launch arrows, launch stones. So sometimes you may be fighting someone and the person, you're overpowering the person. And the person sees that, okay, you know, if I come close to you, you are going to tear me into pieces. And what the person may do is to stand far away and begin to throw stones. In this case, the, the enemy can be throwing curses. They know that we are stronger than them. So they, from far away, they throw curses. And we are saying tonight that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy to throw curses at us. And that we are going to pray against every curse that have been registered against us. We are going to pray that the power of God will revoke every curse the enemy may have set against us that that curse will not stand in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, the word revoke is very important this meeting tonight. That, that is to, to overturn, to reverse, to cancel. What are we reversing? What are we overturning? What are we ca canceling? Every word from the mouth of the enemy is what we are canceling. Every projection against us. Every spirit is hired to cause us. We are canceling the agenda. We are canceling their pronouncements. We are canceling their curses. We are setting their priests and priestesses, their, their, their agents on fire. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Every power on assignment to supervise what we are doing, to monitor what we are doing, we are saying no, that the fire of God is against them. <laughs> Woo! Jesus. That's what we're talking about. That their record against us shall be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Is there a possibility that somebody is under a curse? Tonight we cancel that curse in the name of Jesus. If we are coming to Dallas to celebrate Jesus, to celebrate our 10 years of, of operation as a ministry. Is there a curse that is protected so that we do not celebrate Jesus. We do not celebrate our victory. We do not celebrate our ministry. Father, tonight we are canceling that mission. We are canceling that mission of the enemy. We are canceling that agenda of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, every satanic decree against us, every palm that is hired against us, we are canceling their mission tonight. In the name of Jesus, every satanic protection against us, we cancel them now. We cancel is the evil hour against us, Father, we cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. We are even they gather to plan against us, Father, King of glory. We cancel in the name of Jesus Christ. Rama kata kara kara kuto kara kuto kara kuto kara kuto. Oh, Bara Jesus. Oh, Bara Jesus. Oh, Bara Jesus. Oh, Bara Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Powerful God, take control. Power of God, take over. Power of God, take over. You will never come to stand in order to Every manipulation of the world, every arrow of the world, you will never see it. Every plan, every game, every gang up, every satanic decree, every people of God, everywhere in the world, by the power of Jesus, let them be fire. We the power of this decree, let the people in the world, every plan, we revoke that decree, let it be that decree, let it be done. Let it run a woman. Jesus, 
no power, pray, pray, no pray, spirit, pray, 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 pray. no evil men, no evil women, no that evil divination, no divination against the children of God, against our victory, against our success, against our blessing, against our no jubilee. He will never come to God. Stand. Never, no, he will never stand. Stand. Yes, Lord, he no, will never stand. stand. Isaiah 7 7. He says their divination will not stand. He will never come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any altar that is speaking against us, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We overrule their evil Holy power. Spirit. We, we nullify the power of the evil person. Father, you if said what you hear us say. He that's what we do for us. He Father, we nullify their power. We nullify their power. We nullify their, their, their power useless. We nullify their power useless. We nullify their power. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, Papa, break their hands so that their hands will perform their enterprise. Father, make a public show of the evil one. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Wherever they are coming from, north, south, pray, east, pray, and pray, west. Pray, pray, Holy pray, Ghost, pray. fire, destroy them. Are they coming from under the sea? All power, all power above, beneath, in the that sea, in the land, the in the ocean, that belongs to God. The Therefore, they will never that succeed. The of the they will never succeed. They will, they will never succeed. They will never succeed. They will never succeed. In the, the name of, of Jesus Christ, he shall not stand. The decree of the Lord He says the decree will never stand. Decrees of the evil one, plans of the, of the wicked ones, plans of the wicked ones, plans of the wicked ones will never come to pass. Any plans, any form of plans of the wicked will never stand. It will never take place. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Their plans, Isaiah 54, pray, pray, verse pray, 17, pray, 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 pray. he says their plans is not of him. It's not of Almighty God. Therefore, they will fall for our sake. They will surely fall for our sake. Any man, any hand pointed against us, against our victory, against our success, against our happiness, against our joy, against our jubilee this year, oh my God, let them go down for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. My God and my Father, whatever be the plans of the wicked against this national retreat this year, my Lord and my God, my God, pray, 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 let pray, pray, the good those from heaven. heaven. Let the weaponry of Almighty God, let the anger of God Almighty, Father, ten years of calling the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and Mother Mary, you will never let them to succeed. We will jubilate. This year is the year of jubilee. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. We will remain victorious. We will remain amen. victorious. Hey, so he who is in us is greater than he who Thank is you, in Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We see that there was a decree issued against God's people, against Israelites. The hole they are digging, they will fall in it. This very decree was orchestrated by the enemy of Israel. Father, my when Jesus. Esther and the Mordecai mm. learned of that evil decree, what was mm. that evil decree? To exterminate the Jewish mm. race, just wipe them out, kill all of them. They received a mandate mm. to Ooh. terminate the Jewish race. But Esther and her uncle, Jesus. Mordecai, went into prayers. The prayer point was for the decree, that evil decree, to be reversed. 
Amen. Boomerang, 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 boomerang. By the time they finish their fasting and prayer, ha, ha, ha. Hey. The decree against Israel was reversed. Jeez. Remember that the plan, the decree was to exterminate the Jews, that to kill them. Mm-hmm. Now, by the time they fasted and prayed, and the power of God reversed that plan, so the opposite mm-hmm. began to happen. Instead oh. of the Jews being killed, it was now the enemies of Israel, of, of Israel that were killed. Amen. That is the power of prayer to reverse or to revoke evil decree. Thank you, Jesus. You don't get cancellation of evil decree by lying on the bed and uh, just wishing it to happen. It doesn't come by wish. It must happen by prayer. Numbers 23 verse 23 says, Surely there is no enchantment there is no divination mm. against Jacob. Neither is there anything against Israel that shall stand. Never. Mm-hmm. This is the plan of God. This is what God wants to happen concerning us. Mm. That mm-hmm. no enchantment or evil pronouncement against his people that shall stand. No way. God has not changed oh, that. Against decree. us, against our families, mm-hmm. against our retreat. So, by mm-hmm. extension... Mm-hmm. No As weapon. children of God, no of we are the spiritual no, Israel. No weapon of accident. Mm-hmm. We are claiming this promise tonight. Again, no and we are praying. Weapon. We are decreeing oh, that every mandate to kill this program, every plan to exterminate this program, mm. every plan to mm. cause something terrible to happen, so that but there will be no gathering. We are canceling that agenda. We are canceling that agenda destroy, destroy. by the power of Jesus. In the name we of are canceling that mission of Father the enemy destroy. in the name of Jesus. Not only yes, 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 destroy yes. their plan. Whatever thing that has been planned to make this program to be canceled or to make somebody to, to cancel coming, we cancel in the name of Jesus. We cancel in the name of Jesus. We cancel in the name of Jesus. We cancel that mandate. We cancel that evil plan. We declare them cancelled now. No, we can't get the of evil power. No man is the mother of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Be it through sickness. Be it through sickness. Be it through accident. Be it through delays. Be it through setbacks. Father, we can we nullify, we destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No weapon of any kind, no weapon of delay, no weapon of sickness, no weapon of incident, accident, no weapon of any kind formed against us, against this year's retreat will come to pass. We destroy their plan. We destroy their plan. We destroy their plan. Blood of Jesus Christ over our over over everyone coming, over every person coming, over every family that is represented in this heart of Jesus and Mary in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty Redeemer. You, yeah, you alone we trust in. We believe in you. We trust in you. We hope in you. We depend on you. Every wicked plan, every judgment, cause divination, cancel. Every altar that is raised against the children of God, Father, send them a place. Send them a place. Send them a place. Anywhere they have any of our speaking against us. Father, one hop, one hop, receive all our items, one hop, in the name of Jesus Christ. Find the neighbor living God, Holy One of Israel. Father, we look up to you. From where will our help come from? We've been calling your name. 
Mama, Mother Mary, Jesus Christ, Son of the Lord, we came in the name of Jesus. 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 There is power in that name. Father, Lord God, therefore, every plan Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus and Mary. Oh, my heaven. Oh, my mighty God. That we all successfully, joyfully gather together to worship the Lord God Almighty. It shall be no, no other way. Every plan, every game, every gang of of the evil one will never
that has been spiritual. Some of them even get so much distracted. Mm. Some of them engage in ungodly things. And you think it's ordinary. It is not ordinary. Come, Father, and glorify you. I have been to a program many years ago. And I saw something I never knew could happen in a program. In a big gathering of God's people, and there was a young man and a lady, they were caught, they were caught sleeping in the program. Hmm. This is the enemy causing people who come to get blessings to get distracted to the point of sleeping in the God's environment. Imagine such a distraction. This is the enemy diverting people, putting them on a path that does not lead to blessings. And we are going to pray now that we are refusing as a ministry, as a family, as an individual to be diverted from the path of blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, my Lord. Whatever Amen. thing Amen. that is occasioned in the spirit to cause us, to cause me, to cause my family, to be diverted from the path of blessings, we cancel in the name of Jesus. We cancel in the name of Jesus. We cancel in the name of Jesus. Can somebody begin to pray now? Can somebody begin to pray now? Cancel it now. Cancel it now. That my God's that glory, that wants to divert, my God's blessing, that wants to divert, my God's blessing, hey, Jehovah, God that has my fire, God of Elijah, send down the fire from above, consume them, in the name of Jesus Christ, any man, any woman, every power, every spirit, that wants to divert, our blessings, our victory, our say, our our blessings from God. Cancel our them now. Our cancel them now. Our joy. Our cancel joy. them in the name of Jesus. Cancel them in the name of Jesus. That mandate shall not stand. Every evil plan. She cancel the name of Jesus. She cancel the name of Jesus. Just for any power, any man, any woman. That wants to divide our glory, evil decrees are not divided. Our spiritual blessings, every plan to divide our blessings, to divide our heart, to divide our blessings, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Every plan to bless my blessings, to rupture my blessings, we can do in the name of Jesus. Every plan to see my blessings, we can do in the name of Jesus. We can do in the name of Jesus. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon you. We call upon your name, Lord, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Omnipotent, cover everything. I believe in God. Our power, any power that will come. To divide our spiritual blessings, our physical blessings, our emotional blessings, our financial blessings. Father, for your fire, pray, 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 Father, your power is in the spiritual. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare. I declare and declare that you will not be still our God. No power will be still our God. In the name of Jesus, no power will be still our God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. This program will be victorious. 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 No man, no woman. No power, no spirit will come and divert our God's giving glory, our success, our victory. No man, no man, not in the face of the earth, will come to divert our peace, our joy, 
that is hired to come and they represent the devil, to come and attack us in this program. We are praying now. If I let them all run away, let them be arrested there. Let Amen. them be arrested there. On ground, let them be arrested. That's our Amen. prayer point. Let them be arrested. They will come, but they will not go back. They will be arrested in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. If they come as the vultures, vultures, the vultures will be arrested. If they come as evil birds, that evil bird will not fly away. That evil bird will fall on the ground in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Pray, 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 pray. If they come as the wind, they will not live for the wind. They will repent and fall on the ground. The man of God will arrest them in the name of Jesus. Can somebody begin to pray now? Can somebody begin to pray now? Every Jesus. 
We are going to pray a very important prayer point. Thank you, Lord. Be the last. Thank you, Lord. You see, when Balaam was on his way to go and answer Balak, he was on a on a donkey. But on the way, this donkey stopped moving. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there a donkey? <laughs> is there a vehicle, mm. a spiritual vehicle mm. that is carrying the hired machinery, the hired mm. enemy to come to us? We are commanding that donkey in the name of Jesus to be crippled now. Let the vehicles be crippled. Let yes, their cargoes be crippled in the name of Jesus. Let them be crippled by the power of Jesus. We command the power, 
would never be Imagine that. The donkey wasn't seeing vision before. Mm. Now the, the, the donkey was not seeing visions. That was why it went into the bush. Hallelujah. Instead of walking on the road, he saw an angel standing on the road, blocking it, and he went yeah. into the bush. Mm-hmm. Because the donkey received anointing of vision. Mm. Hallelujah. The donkey that was dumb, that wasn't able to speak like a human being, cannot talk or communicate intelligibly. Now I begin to talk intelligibly. Let me tell you something. Listen carefully. Is there a possibility that somebody coming to this program may not have prophetic utterance, may not even be seeing visions? The person is just wondering, this would have seen visions. Oh, and maybe they are joking. But that person is now coming to this program. Mm. And the anointing that came upon this donkey comes upon that person. Amen. And Amen. the person who never prophesied begins to prophesy. Amen. Yeah. Did it not happen to Saul? Mm. And people were saying, oh, even Saul is prophesying? Has the thing come upon Saul? Amen. There is a donkey that is coming to this program that doesn't see visions. But in this program, that donkey is going to see visions. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a donkey in the ancient time, in the book of Numbers 22 and verse, chapter 22 and chapter 23, the donkey was carrying someone. But there's another donkey that the Bible tells us in the New Testament when Jesus wanted to enter into Jerusalem. And this donkey in the New Testament now carried Jesus into Jerusalem. Is there a possibility that somebody coming to this program is going to be a donkey that Jesus will ride to enter into the heart of people? To enter into families. Amen. Now that person will become an agent of Jesus. Jesus carrier. Amen. Carry Jesus. If I ask you what is your career now, you will tell me your career is team or team of us. But now, what I'm talking about is something spiritual. That somebody will not say, Oh, I'm a carrier of Jesus. A donkey that carries Jesus. So now we're going to pray. That every spiritual donkey, now this is something symbolic. Somebody can have characteristics of a donkey in this episode now. And the person is not seeing, but now begin to see. If God will anoint that donkey to begin to see, that God can also anoint somebody who, whom he created in his own image to begin to see. So we are praying that God, God will activate people's anointing in this program. So that somebody who is not who is spiritually blind will begin to see. So that somebody who is spiritually mute will begin to prophesy. So that somebody who is not a carrier of Jesus, or maybe somebody who is a carrier of Balaam, will begin to be a carrier of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody begin to pray now? 
For the prayers of this night, and we'll cover the prayer word of Jesus. And we we'll give you all glory for all that you have done tonight. So you be all in glory, worship, and adoration. In Jesus' super mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.